everybody to California Speedway race number two of the cup throwback series on pole is Alexander Rowe in the 41 car alongside Casey Jaycox here are your full qualifying results and let's take you to trackside about to get the race command here all right here it is All right, engines fired up. Here we go. So, slight uh, change. Uh, this is the 28 version, or 28, or 2008 uh, version of the racetrack. Nothing. Too different of course the walls uh, the sprint cup logos uh, if you guys remember we ran a co2 a cot race here or at the 2007 uh track and had some problems had that safer bear that juts out and causes uh, wrecks uh, this one doesn't the safer bear is all smoothed out and they hit the wall a little less so that is a good thing so other than the blue walls and the sprint cup logos it's the same So another big track on the schedule, a two-miler as we know, soon to be a short track. But uh, here we go, getting ready to go green. Pace car is coming in. Green flag waves, back on or underway, not back on our way. And drivers already fanning out four wide, maybe even five wide. Three wide for the lead. A lot more space here than Daytona, that's for sure. The 15 car on the inside line. The seven has it, Brian Rodriguez. And the turn three, they're almost Almost three wide for the race lead. Seven car around the top. A few cars hit the wall back there. But we stay green, no wreck. Wait, I think we did get a wreck. Yep, caution is out. Alright, yellow is out for the first time today. Let's take a look at the replay. The wall less, but they don't hit the wall at all. That still seems to be an issue here. So the 31, the old one, all scraping it. I think the old one came down, caught the 43. Small wreck though. Five car got it, four car has a 48. Nowhere to go, trapped on the outside. So they almost made it, whoa! Ash Curtis nearly flipped upside down. Almost had ourselves another flip. Pretty big here to the side. Right on board here, Jordan Stewart in the 43. He was on the middle, he kind of got into the 18 car a bit. Push him up just enough, gets collected in that wreck. So, small crash at least for our first yellow. I'll uh, take you back to the restart. Here we go. So, still got everyone out there. Brian Rodriguez, our leader. Race car coming in. Here we go. Green flags out and look at him go. Four drivers on the top five just jump to the outside line. Here comes the 15 car again on the inside line. That is Riley Sampson. Two car behind him.
think he changes like seven, seven times on these restarts, usually. Well, just one. Well, I just say the start of the race, start double wide. Seven car, a few others in the wall back there. Gets a little too tight. Caution's out again. Well, got that one uh, lap of green flag racing in, at least. So racing it back. Looks like Riley Sampson. Two car not close enough. He'll come around and take the caution flag. All right. Second caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. 13 car Casey Jaycox who started second in this race. 20 car came down. Might have bounced off the wall. Then they couldn't get free. There's a double zero. The 55. The 38 misses the double zero but doesn't miss the 13. That could have been a big wreck right there. Whole pack of cars coming your way. But surprisingly they did not. Uh, yeah, another small crash within the pack. Rewind this a little more. Right on board here with the 13 car. There's a 20. Actually, no, they checked up because of the 45. 20 car cuts down low. Wasn't clear. And that triggered the wreck right there. Two MW car, MWR cars collecting in that. Double zero in the 55, Ryan Butcher, the uh, BK car. He went low, trying to avoid the wreck too, a po potential wreck. Didn't turn out so well for him. There's a 40 through the grass, he avoids it. Not too much damage on the double zero, don't think he got hit afterwards. So he should be alright. Alright, so that's our second yellow of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Here we go. So the 13 is a lap down. He's back out on the racetrack. Should have, uh, well, too late to give the wave around now. But next time around we will. Probably should mention it's drivers who, uh, get put a lap down before the caution comes out, not after. So, yep, they're on pit road or anything, or make a stop that cost them a lap, then they don't get it. It's less confusing that way. Here we go, green flag's out, we're back underway. Uh, look at it. All oh, the drivers jump to the top lane. The 15 car will slide up in front of the 2 to put that block. Side by side for second, the 14 car. Nicholas Jewitt giving that 25 a push 25 that is uh, Jaron Cavalton 3 wide here for the race lead more cars in it as uh, happens every lap at the line there 3 wide Jewitt led that lap there's a 2 and a 9 2 dodges looking to challenge And a nine car to the front. And there they go again. We got ourselves a crash. 14's got that run up the top lane. He'll clear the nine. Nine car's gonna stick to the inside though. Can't get there. Third caution of the day. Here they come. Nicholas Jewitt will take the yellow flag. Gonna wait. Since we have a lap car, we need to wave around. Yeah. Still got quite a bit. There's a 13. Okay. Alright, let's see if this thing works. I'm pretty sure it's just this wave number 13. Or, nope. Huh. Am I typing this thing right? Uh, huh, it's not working on my end. 
All right, uh, let's take a look at the replay. Figure this out later with the wave arounds. Uh, let's take a look here. There are four wide. The 24 comes up a little too much. Oh, and the 41 nearly goes upside down. Or does he? Couldn't see. Then the, gets hit by the 45. Oh, the 88 probably does. Nope, no, he doesn't. Alexander Rowe, that's our pole sitter. Colin Bear in the 88, nearly up and over. The 11. I think that took two JGR cars. Yep, the 11 and the 18. Let's see from the spectator view. Yeah, you don't want to get hit like that. Wow, it looks like the 41 just jumped. He goes in the roof first. And does he? Yes, he does. He does go fully over. Luckily, he doesn't ride the wall. Gets hit by the 45 while upside down. And yeah, his nose just jams into the 88 car's uh, window net. That's a pretty scary sight to see. Yeah, when you see a car just tip over while still going straight, you know they're in, it for, a bad, in for a bad one. That happened exactly that Alexander Rowe just quickly goes in roof first. Then from the 88 car's view. Watch that. Uh, probably can't really see it there. But, oh, right there. You could just see that 41 right, right there in the window net. So another car up and over. Actually, that took out, right, that took out all three of the uh, Joe Gibbs guys. It's Tony car lightning blaze just... Nick's the next one of the drivers. Who did he hit? The five. Yep. Caught him in the bad spot. Now what you want to see is a team motor seeing all your cars get wiped out in one crash. 45 and Nick Hershey as well. Big damage. 11 cars smoking bad. The five of Sam with all his can. Probably got the least worst of that or the least amount of damage from that crash. So our third yellow of the day. Uh, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, so, um, yeah, apparently I can't just type it in. Uh, there's actually another step to it. You needed a, the different exe file, so I couldn't just type wave around or whatever I was typing before. I tried the multiplayer command, but that didn't work, as you could see. Uh, I don't know what I was typing here, so... Lap or yeah, um, so yeah, that didn't work out so well. I thought you could just type it in. So there's more to it. All right, well we're ready to go green here. Pace car is coming in. Third restart of the day. Green flag waving, back underway. Nine car looks inside, but the six cars there. Let's see if we can get to figure out the next race. Look at the 15, giving a push. Whoa, too hard of a push. And around the 9 and the 6. And there they go again. Oh, this is going to be a big wreck. Whoa, the 31 was coming in hot. More cars sliding. The 13. Oh, I couldn't avoid that. That uh, looks like, uh, oh, maybe not. About to say he was done. And a huge wreck. Yeah, it's the 26 that DJ Curtis has taken the race lead. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, for the race lead there, it got a little too too hot. Riley Sampson gave that six car a little nudge. Almost took the 14 out. But because of that, it also sends Sampson up the racetrack. So, collects the 9. Then I see the 25, the 7, and the 8. Almost had another car up and over. Look at the 25 up in the air. Nearly gets, he gets squashed into the wall. It pops up in the air like that from the 10. Sam Curtis... And then more cars involved, as you can see. The 10 car gets into the 18. Huge wreck all around. There's a 44 there. The last race winner. Daytona winner. There's a 38. Ibrahimin can get by that 19. Casey was able to avoid the 48. Luckily he did. That definitely would have been a much bigger wreck. And more cars were involved. 
Or, no, that's the same car, the number 9. I think that's from the 18, the nose. So the big one right there, here at Auto Club. It's right on board with uh, one of the drivers. How about, uh, maybe the 25, Calvin. Yep, just stuck on the outside. Boxed right in, nothing you can do. Not Those drivers could, couldn't do much. So a pretty big pile up so far. Our biggest wreck, there's the 18 of Flare Main. Into the back of the 10. Pretty much uh, just f uh, pushes that 10 car into the 07. Yeah, a lot of wreck race cars. Nine car just gonna limit back to the garage area. The rookie was having such a good race up until then. Seven car, Brad Rodriguez led early in the race. Was 22nd at the time. It yeah, looks like. All right, fourth yellow of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Just getting ready for the green. 24 drivers remain on the racetrack. Gonna be three laps to go when they take the green flag. DJ Curtis took the lead away. Coming to the yellow. It's gonna be a tough one to defend. Here we go. Green flag waving. Back on their way. This time a top four stay single file, no one fanning out. Joey wants that lead back to the inside. Side by side here. Here comes the two, here comes the one. One car is going to make a pass for his third as they're neck and neck. Jawit has the lead. Three wide, possibly for second. DJ trying to get that run off the outside as those, as those two get together. Two laps to go. A close one. Here comes the two. The one car, the 29, Brad Cheston is there. After having a nasty flip at Daytona, now running in fourth in position to win. As Tears Davidson, he is not clear for second, not yet. The 14 fighting back hard on the top. That's what the two car wants to see. Here they come, white flag, one more lap to go here at Auto Club Speedway. Joey clears the one car. Well, not quite. Thought he did. David sends it in there hard. All right, he's got it. He's got the two car in his sights. It's gonna be a two-way battle here. Where will Davidson make his move? Most likely into turn three. Or no, he's gonna look outside first. Now to the inside, he looks right on the tail of the two car. Hooks the back end, nearly wrecks him. 14's on the wall. Checkered flag waves and the two car of uh, I think Bullet Oscan is gonna win at Auto Club Speedway. Wow, Davidson was gonna try to play a little, a little dirty there. Yeah, I was wondering why is he not making a move? He was on that two car's back bumper and he also ran his fast slap of the race. That's how hard he was pushing. But yeah, wow. Almost dumped him. That would have been ugly. All right, let's take a look at the full race results. There you have it, the number two of the rookie, Pulit Oskan, the winner, David Davison in the one. I think he probably would have beaten him if he didn't try to wreck him. Brandon Wilcox third, Kenny Johnson fourth, Patrick Mew fifth, Riley Sampson sixth, Brad Chesson seventh, DJ Curtis eighth, Nicholas Jewett ninth, and St uh, Stephen Oaks tenth. Here's the rest of the race results, it says 24 drivers finishing the race, 23 on the lead lap. Take a look at that at the end right there. Yeah, he almost got him. Look, look at the one car. He's not fully committed to the inside. Hooks that back end just a bit. Pushed a little harder than he probably would have spun him around. And then right here, yeah, he just, uh, he almost had it. So car number two, race wins race number two. Let's ride on board with that one car. Wrong camera. Here we go. 
He just gets right on the left side, right on the left side of the back bumper. Cooks him a little bit, but not too much. Maybe we drove it in there a little more deeper as well. And coming to the checkers, two car just gets away a little bit, so the one can't get to him. And there you have it. The 14 of Jewy hit the wall, fell them, fell back all the way to uh, ninth place. So, anyways, that is it here at uh, California Speedway. We'll now take you to Victory Lane. <laughs>